a lengthy list of Ohio State VIPs, including the governor, lieutenant governor, and two U.S. representatives were on hand to celebrate the culmination of a $5 million investment known as Sky Vision. Sky Vision was developed to assist unmanned aerial systems flying within U.S. airspace. There are others that are establishing, I'll say, similar systems, but they're not quite as versatile, and uh, they don't come with the, uh, the permissions we have to fly any kind of a drone. That makes us a little different. Federal aviation regulations require UAS operators to maintain line of sight with their aircraft while flying. The Sky Vision ground-based detect and avoidance system changes all that. And so when it leaves his site, it becomes very difficult to do the mandatory function of see and avoid other air traffic or even long, you know, like tall obstacles on the ground. You have to avoid all that. So uh, the way to do it is to, if you will, have your own private air traffic controller who can tell you what else is flying out there and to give you a display that allows you to see where your drone is flying relative to the environment and relative to the other air traffic out there. And if it's the aircraft is going to penetrate that circle, it's a flash of red and you get an oral signal as well. Right now, Sky Vision relies on plugging into the existing air control systems of a nearby airfield to operate. But in the future, the developers hope to equip the bus with its own monitoring systems, making the entire package more mobile. I think it has great potential in regard to disasters. Uh, I can envision uh, you know, having a National Guard out in an area, being able to use a drone beyond the line of sight. It just gives us a great deal of, of, of possibilities, really search and rescue operations as well as law enforcement purposes. Sky Vision is the result of a partnership between the state of Ohio and the Air Force Research Laboratory. You know, the talent that we have at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I think sometimes people in Miami Valley, you know, we, we just take it for granted. But uh, we have to continue to leverage that talent to create jobs in this region. Sky Vision will be used to test a variety of unmanned aircraft from across the military, commercial, and academic sectors. Reporting from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio, I'm Chris Decker.